So welcome back guys. Um, in our previous lecture, we learned how to display a symbol list using SwiftUI. Uh, we created a list of cities and we displayed the image and the country name. Um, in this lecture, we want to see how we can navigate from this list view of our cities to the city detail view. Um, if you didn't watch the previous video, please check it out. Uh, you probably want to check this that video first before you jump onto this video. But if you interested if you're not interested you can still continue watching this video so the first thing that we need to do is um yeah in our we need to wrap our list in a navigation view so we say navigation view then we cut our list here uh, oops. we cut our list here and we put inside our navigation view you can see now we have an extra space uh, we can now probably add a title, so I'll just say navigation bar title, I'll just call this discover. You can see now we have a list with the title. Um, the next thing we want to do is let's create another group. I'm just going to call this group view. Uh, let's put our view inside, our point of view inside the view. And then let's create another file. Uh, make sure you choose Swift UI view, then click next. Then I'm just going to call this city detail. City detail view. Yes. I'll say create. Um, our city detail view obviously comes with the default uh, template. We have our text view here, saying hello world. Uh, the first thing we need, we need to say bar city because we are displaying the city, each one single city in our data. So let's say city. Uh, then, then you probably notice that uh, our Xcode is complaining because our preview obviously expects to preview a city. So I'm just gonna go here and say city. And then I'll just put it down the city. In this case, I'll probably say Paris. Um, who doesn't want to go to Paris? Uh, France, image URL, let's go Paris, right? We hit try again. Yeah, then let's remove this text and maybe put a vertical stack. So a vertical stack, and then let's put an image. Let's display our city dot image image URL. Oh, nice, nice. You can see now we have a, our I photo our image, but it's too big. It's taking the whole screen. So what we need to do is go resizable, and then we can just simply say scale to fit. It's nice, but you can see that it's centered. We can fix that by going to our vertical stack and say dot frame. Mm. Let's choose this one with minimum width. Then I'll just say minimum width of zero. I do it. So uh, zero as well. Maximum width, say infinity. Uh, minimum height zero. I do width zero. Maximum height dot infinity. Alignment dot top level. Yes, you can see now our image is smaller and it's nicely on the top. You can also need to uh, change the navigation bar title. So I'll just say navigation bar title. In this case, we want to display the city name. Yeah, nice. We now have our city detail. Let's go back to our content view. Um, if you're familiar with the uh, uh, UI kit, uh, you're probably familiar with table views. Yeah. In table views, each table view probably has a tag cell. So in this case, our table view cell would be uh, uh, the city cell that we are displaying for each city. So what we need to do is to actually extract this into a separate uh, view so that our content view is not uh, bloated with a lot of code. So I'll hit command. And then I'll say extract sub view, and then yeah, I can just rename the sub view. 
phone sometimes takes a while. Let me just rename it manually. So I'll say CT cell and then I'll copy this and then paste it here. So now we now have our list and inside our list we are displaying each cell and we have a subset here. If we hit the zoom button, you probably said that it's complaining because it doesn't know what this city is. So what we need to do is to come here and then say, um, let city, let city, city. Now it probably won't complain. Let's try again. Now it's complaining that we are not passing in the city here, so we'll just press the city. Nice. If you hit the zoom button again, it's running. So what we need to do now is when you click, right now when you click on each cell, nothing happens because it doesn't know what to do. So we need to sort of like, yeah. And another thing that I need to do is I can see that the city name is actually too big. So I need to change the font here instead of same title, I can just say uh, dot head line like this so that it's at least nice. So we come back to our list here. We need to just add a navigation navigation link. I don't know why my Xcode is not um, auto completing. Inside our navigation, we can just uh, pass the destination. The destination is where is that um, a link, where is the, the, which is the city detail that we want to go to. So it's the destination view. Destination, in our case, we just go city detail view, and we're just going to pass in city say city nice now you see we now have this um chamber right to show that uh if you click on each and every link it will take you to a different screen so now if you click it shows our image and say Helsinki if you click on San Francisco it shows us San Francisco Mumbai it shows us Mumbai we might want to add a spacer between the cell and the navigation link so I'm just going to say space up. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. So here we go, guys. We now have our list. Mm, one more thing that we can do is, um, firstly, let's cut this so that it's, uh, it's above our content view. As you can see here, if I run this application, if I run this application, right? If I run this application, you see it's nice, it's in white mode. But if I come here and change to dark mode, you can see, yeah, it's still looking nice, still looking nice. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any uh, suggestions or comments, Please leave in the comment section below. Till next time.